So you've done a lot of like virtual events and then uh, also hosted in-person events. Uh, do you have a preference one or the, or the other, or do you see uh, a lot of people having a preference one or the other doing it virtually or in person? So in my experience, so we have done 11 virtual ones and 11 in-person ones. And virtual and in-person, they are completely different business models or so com even completely different how you create them, what you have to do. And maybe the only thing which is very similar is promoting them on social media. You would put similar posts as an event organizer, but the whole process in organizing the event is a little bit different. And uh, I like in-person events because, uh, of course, in-person in attendance is, is smaller because online you it's usually for free. People can register. And so it's a bigger mass is attending. Mm -hmm. But uh, we personally don't receive so much personal feedback. Even if we s ask for feedback, people, you know, they get an email and they kind of archive the email or delete it. But when we come to the in-person events, we can see with our eyes what we have created. We can see these people who are coming back to our events, meeting their friends whom they met in the previous event. And um, so just in this is kind of different. So it's a, also with online events, you can reach broader audiences like especially online events are useful for people who are just starting out you know because uh, online events are for free and people can watch concentrated content 20 30 sessions in a few days mm -hmm. and if they are really all in and learning it's uh, a lot of uh, useful information they can get and physical events yeah it's more for people already who can invest in traveling and pay tickets so, yeah, it's completely different, let's say, a little bit different target audience and uh, a little bit different, yeah, the the whole feeling of organizing yeah. and attending. Yeah, yeah, for me personally, I, I really prefer in-person. And like you said, it's it's very different. Like when you do an online event, it's pretty much all about learning. But when you do an in-person event, it's almost 50-50, if not more networking versus learning. Mm -hmm. Because when I go to events, I love to, you know, hey, Augustus, what do you think about this? And talk about different topics and connect with people individually. I've created masterminds from people I've met at events and stuff like that. And you can't really replicate that in a virtual event as well. Yeah, it's more difficult unless you have a big um, a traffic to your online event. Uh, we are getting like two, three thousand attendees, but some other industry events might get, you know, 10, 20,000. Then you could create some more networking opportunities with some apps, applications. But uh, yeah, with uh, like 1000 people are very uh, passive in these virtual events. Uh, so yeah. even uh, we tried to bring them to platforms where you can network in the breakout rooms out of 1000 we get like 50 people coming and <laughs> like it's there is no engagement yeah 